All right, so it's another day and I'm out with Greg again. And uh, I got to this spot just before Greg and spotted a couple turtles with my binoculars. But Greg came out here and was able to get his hands on this um, juvenile barber's map turtle that I spotted. And uh, it's a great way to start the day. This is a turtle we were hoping to see and we got it right off the bat. So um, Greg's gonna tell us a little bit about what makes barber's map turtles and map turtles in general so cool. So this is a barber's map turtle, and like all map turtles in the state of Georgia, they're a protected species, and that's because they're very vulnerable, uh, because mainly the diet of the adults, females are strict molluscivores, if that's the word. They eat only mollusks and crustaceans, so clams, mussels, crayfish, that is the diet of the females, and then the males are about half the female size, and they eat strictly uh, insect larvae. So because of these strict dietary requirements that they have, they're very vulnerable to any stream or river degradation. And so the state of Georgia protects these guys. They do get locally abundant in the areas that they are in, but they're very vulnerable. And uh, what's neat is just being able to find a place where they are existing and see these little guys, you know, running along the bottom or basking. And uh, they're, they're just such a unique turtle because unlike sliders and cooters that are, you know, basking turtles that are omnivores or mainly herbivores, these guys are actually little hunters and little predators for those little mollusks and crustaceans. And instead of swimming, a lot of times they end up kind of crawling along the bottom and crawling up and down sticks and roots and, and rocks. And they're just a really cool turtle. And the map turtles are actually the reason that the U.S. has the most diversity of turtles in the entire world. Our river systems in the southeast all have different types of map turtles. Here in Georgia, Florida, and the extreme southern part of Alabama, the barber's map turtle is in the, mainly the Apalachicola River drainage. And just a really awesome turtle. Look at the, look at the back of them. <laughs> There's a reason map turtles are sometimes called sawbacks. They have this adaptation to keep predators from eating them. Right down here we have a mussel that is actually opened up and it's filtering right now. It's pretty cool to see. It's a good sign of a relatively healthy creek. Um, they can survive with some disturbance, but it's always a good sign to see these out and about. Greg just managed to uh, spot and uh, pick up this um, smaller loggerhead musk turtle. Uh, pretty cool find. Um, and he spotted another one right over there. Uh, so they can be quite abundant in some areas. And they're a really, really neat turtle. Like Greg talked about earlier, they have these massive heads as they get older. They develop these megacephal mega megacephalic? Yeah. megacephalic heads. Um, that are used for crushing snails and stuff. So very, very neat turtle, cool to see. And Greg just got another tiny one, let's check it out. It's about two or three years old. So yeah, they have really pretty patterns on their, on their heads when they stick their heads out, you can see that. Um, but I mean, they look just like rocks on the bottom. Um, you have to be patient uh, but you can spot them just wading in creeks like we're doing. Uh, and then of course, as always, you know, we let the turtles go uh, back into the natural habitat where they belong.
Nice. All right, Greg with the awesome <laughs> catch here. What do you have there, Greg? It's a juvenile alligator snapping turtle. Very cool. I saw this guy up for air and uh, was able to kind of spot him by his snout. alligator snapping turtle from the Upper Flint River drainage in Georgia and what's unique about this is this is a Piedmont Georgia population of alligator snapping turtles and up until about 10 years ago it wasn't even believed that they existed this far up in Georgia and it ends up working to their benefit because back when they were trapping alligator snapping turtles in the 60s 70s and 80s for Campbell's soup uh, trappers didn't even think they existed up here so you have a what's really unique in their range is an untouched population of alligator snapping turtles and one of the neat things is they're just everywhere uh, they're they hide in this you know swift flowing river system and they're just hiding in every nook and cranny uh, they come out at night and they're foraging on the bottom eating little crustaceans mollusks uh, you know wayward fish that fall over a dam and are stunned um, and it's really cool to see and you get all ages including uh, small juveniles like this one this is probably about an eight-year-old turtle uh, you you can usually go by about an inch per year, give or take. Depends on if they have a good year or a bad year. And um, you know, this turtle obviously has a long way to go uh, before it gets about eight more times this size and becomes, you know, whether it's a male or a female, you can't tell the sex on these guys until they're about twice this size. But male or female, this turtle has got a long way to go. But the good thing is, is they are protected in the state of Georgia and that gives them kind of a, an edge and uh, you know that protection means that you know you're not supposed to mess with them or uh, eat them or cause any harm to them and you know they're hard enough to find anyway so I think that helps and just a unique turtle one of my favorite animals on the planet I love working with these guys I love doing education with them uh, there's something that's really special they only exist in the US and they only exist in the southeast US so there's something that's really unique that we should all be proud of and uh, I think they deserve a lot more respect than they get uh, they live a lot longer than we do, so I think uh, we ought to show them the respect they deserve. So, Greg saw this little turtle snout sticking up right above the water. It was really cool to see. Um, these guys will, you know, they breathe air and so they have to stick their heads up out of the water and it's a good way to spot these alligator snapping turtles actually and as they get older some of them develop a yellow coloration so you can look for a yellow snout and that means it's probably a really large individual but these uh, smaller ones are, are darker and um, Greg was able to get his hands on this turtle and it's a really cool turtle that Greg actually does uh, a lot of work with he does a lot of educational stuff and he uh, he has permits to keep these animals and he has a couple that he um, uses to you know not only learn about their biology but teach other people about uh, these pretty misunderstood animals. for watching this video we're gonna release this young alligator snapping turtle that Greg just found um, definitely go check out Greg's channel it's linked down in the description below I hope you guys enjoyed this let us know if you have any questions down in the comments below and I'll try and answer those um, remember nature is powerful and so are you have a great day